Hi there, we're back with another color related video. Well, this color category that I'm going to be discussing today is not so popular, but very specific to a gender. Well, certain homeowners have often inquired me about this particular paint color category and what color they can actually choose for their baby daughter's bedroom. Well, any guesses which color category I'm going to be discussing today? Well, yes, Sherwin Williams pink paint colors. Well, pink paint colors and blush paint colors are taking over the limelight year by year in the interior design industry, in the fashion industry and much more. The soft, feminine, fragile, dreamy and romantic look and feel of the pink and blush paint colors can ultimately transform the vibe of your home. And let me tell you, not just restricted to your baby girl's bedroom, but even there are a few other certain areas where you can use the pink and blush paint colors. I have often been asked by my female clients about a certain pink or blush color for their home offices, whereas a certain pink or blush color for painting a particular piece of furniture or maybe a bedroom's accent wall or maybe a bathroom's vanity. Well, you see, this is no more unpopular and this paint color category is definitely gaining a ton and ton of attention. And since there aren't a lot of articles, blogs or videos about Sherwin Williams best pink paint colors out there, I thought maybe I should give it a try. So why not? Today I'm going to be discussing about Sherwin Williams pink paint colors, their undertones, which is a given. And at the same time, my top 10 list of Sherwin Williams pink paint colors. Well, like I mentioned earlier, pink paint colors are not just restricted to your baby girl's bedroom or your daughter's bedroom or her play area but even certain other areas of your home. If you're really fond of the, uh, the moody blush pink color, you can even, being a girl, you can even use this color in your home office. You can create a dreamy romantic look with a pink paint color to be painted on your ceilings, trims, moldings, doors. You can even experiment with the pink paint color in your entryway door. Like if you've ever visited the Notting Hill area of London, you would see a lot of pretty charming homes with pink entryway doors. At the same time, this pink color can also be used uh, in various furniture frames, your nightstands, uh, you know, certain vanity, your laundry cabinets. And trust me, there are endless opportunities of using a pink paint color in your home without making it look overwhelming or over intimidating. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing Sherwin Williams pink paint colors that have three dominant undertones, red, yellow, orange, gray, violet and mauve, along with white paint colors that have a pink undertone that can definitely work if you're looking for a perfect pink paint color for your home. So I'm going to start with Sherwin Williams pink paint colors that have a dominant orange, yellow or red undertone. Well, how to determine a warm pink paint color that may lean towards peach, blush or sandy taupe? Well, simply place a swatch of a true white color against the warm pink paint to determine the undertones. You can even experiment with placing a few other swatches of pink paint color to determine the sneaky undertones that the color will immediately show up. So in general, Sherwin Williams pink paint colors that have a dominant red, yellow or orange undertone tend to be slightly more warmer, creamier, cozier. So if you're not looking for a very clean, bright and stark pink paint color, you can choose one of these warm pink paint colors to help bring a sense of coziness and tranquility in your home. Some classic examples of Sherwin Williams warm pink colors or pink paint colors with dominant peach, yellow, orange or red undertones are Sherwin Williams malted milk or Sherwin Williams red end point. By the way, red end point was also color of the year 2023. Well, these warm pink paint colors have a dominant 
rosy, browny clay touch to them and they can always prove quite versatile and can be used for your warmer tone homes, neutral tone homes as well as cooler tone homes. So the next type of color category is Sherwin Williams pink paint colors with gray undertones. So if you go through the swatch of Sherwin Williams pink paint colors, you're quite likely to see a lot of brighter colors out there. But at the same time, some of the bright colors can come off really uninviting and unwelcoming. And that is why there has to be a touch of gray to the pink undertone to make the color feel quite subtle, subdued and muted. And in this color category, the colors tend to be quite cool and crisp, but not very cool and frosty. So some notable interior designs where you can use Sherwin-Williams pink paint colors with a gray base can be Sherwin-Williams uh, Scandinavian interior design styles, cottage core, French farmhouse, and even Japan D. Some notable examples of neutral pink color with the gray base are Sherwin-Williams Romance and Sherwin-Williams Rosy Outlook. And lastly, another undertone that I would like to mention is the mauve, violet, or plum undertones. Well, there are a lot of Sherwin-Williams pink colors that can slightly look violet or uh, purplish in certain lighting conditions and that is due to the deep violet undertones that are already existing. Well, these colors are aesthetically soft, subtle, serene, tranquil, uh, cool toned but at the same time they can be slightly difficult to pair with other colors out there or other existing architectural finishes. So with violet undertones, you have to be super, super careful of the existing architectural elements and what colors you intend to pair this paint color with. Some prominent examples are Sherwin-Williams Moe Finery and Sherwin-Williams Fading Rose. So now that we've discussed the various undertones that a pink paint color might have, I'm going to be discussing another important aspect of pink paint colors. And this is also one of the most inquired questions by homeowners out there that they are looking for a certain off-white paint color or a white paint color that has a pink touch but not as dominantly pink. See, if you're planning to use a pink paint color in your home, it can be certainly very characteristic or very dominant. But if you're looking to just add a slightest hint or a slightest touch of a pink tone to your already existing walls, in that case, I would recommend that you choose a white paint color or an off-white paint color that already has a pink undertone. So various examples here can be Sherwin-Williams Downy, which is lighter. They can be Sherwin-Williams Pole Light White, which is slightly darker. You can even experiment with Marshmallow or, or even Nuance White. So now that we've discussed the important aspects of Sherwin-Williams pink paint colors and the undertones to go, let's get started with my top 10 list of Sherwin-Williams pink paint colors that you can take utmost inspiration from. These colors are pretty, feminine, calming, relaxing, tranquil, and will never disappoint you. So let's get started. So the first color on my list is Sherwin-Williams Red and Point. The color of the year 2023, Sherwin-Williams Red and Point is a blush pink, desert sandy, clay-like, earthy paint color. It may not be a generic pink color, but when used on the walls, this color can prove to be quite a showstopper. It's calm, earthy, energetic, bold, moody, and also relaxing at the same time. So if you're looking for a feminine color to energize your space, this Sherwin-Williams pink color is definitely something to have an eye on. With an LRV of 30, this color can prove to be quite luscious, romantic and rich. So if you don't want to go for a generic pink color or a bright pink color like my coat is, then Sherwin-Williams Red and Point can make a beautiful appearance. Moreover, you can use this color on the ceilings, crown moldings, trims, walls, as well as baseboards for a perfect moody look. But at the same time, if you don't want something that dominating and that bold, you can simply pair this color with Sherwin-Williams pure white on the ceilings and trims and let the walls be red and point for an utmost earthy and yet feminine or romantic look. Colors that complement Sherwin-Williams red and point are charcoal gray, navy blues, blue greens, light gray, beige, cream, grayish and lighter tones of pink. You can check out my latest pre-packaged Sherwin-Williams Red and Point color palette for the whole house. Here on Etsy, 
as well as my website. Now the next color on my list is Sherwin Williams Malted Milk. Well, Sherwin Williams Malted Milk is slightly a couple of tones lighter than Sherwin Williams Red and Point as they are on the same palette. Sherwin Williams Malted Milk is my absolute favorite pink paint color that has a warm and organic feel with beige and peach undertones. This soft and feminine Sherwin Williams pink color plays a beautiful role in kids' bedrooms and play areas, home office, entryway, bathroom and laundry cabinets. With an LRV of 62, this color can even be used in smaller, medium or larger sized homes. Well, there are a couple of my pre-packaged color palettes on Etsy where I have used Sherwin Williams malted milk in homes. I've recommended and I've uh, provided various tips of how to use this paint color in your home. You can check out my Etsy shop for latest inspiration on paint colors and pre-packaged color palette guides and let me know if you have any questions. Colors that complement Sherwin Williams malted milk are charcoal grey, navy blues, blue greens, light grey, beige, cream, greyge, shades of teal and darker tones of blush or pink. Now the next color on my list is Sherwin Williams Intimate White. When looking for a pinkish white color, you simply can't miss Sherwin Williams Intimate White. This white paint with a hint of pink is something you definitely would love and admire. This is a cool toned pink color and decorating with intimate white Sherwin Williams color can be quite fun in the bedrooms, accent furniture, accent wainscoting, ceilings or even cabinets. I would highly recommend this pinkish white color for the bathrooms as well as the nursery. Well, Sherwin Williams Intimate White has an LRV of 77, which means that it's an off-white color with a dominant pink undertone to it. This color has an LRV of 77, which means you should use this color in smaller or medium-sized homes. Avoid this color as a whole house scheme and rather use it as an accent or a base in various areas of your home. At the same time, I would say that you avoid this color in north-facing rooms because it's a cool toned pink color and can feel quite crisp and icy in these compass directions. With this paint color, you can choose Sherwin Williams Pure White or even Sherwin Williams or even Sherwin Williams High Reflective White for the trims, moldings, ceilings, door and window frames. Colors that complement Intimate White are Cool Whites, Charcoal Grey, Navy Blues, Blue Greens, Light Grey, Shades of Teal, Creamy Whites and Darker Tones of Blush or Pink. Now the next color on my list is Sherwin Williams Fading Rose. Sherwin Williams Fading Rose is a saturated pink paint color with notable purple or violet undertones. It feels bright, energizing and not so subtle as the above mentioned Sherwin Williams pink paint colors. So if you're looking to add a punch of visual interest in the kids bedroom or playroom, Fading Rose can be a great, great option. Now you must know that Sherwin Williams Fading Rose has a dominant violet or purple undertone to it. So you can use this paint color in the nursery, for your girls bedroom, the play areas, a certain vanity in your home and try using this paint color in the west or south facing rooms for the best results. Sherwin Williams Fading Rose has an LRV of 55 which means it can be used in smaller or medium sized homes. You can pair Sherwin Williams pure white to go with these walls and best complement this color with something like cool whites, charcoal grey, shades of purple mauve, violet, mustard, light grey, shades of teal, creamy whites and darker tones of blush and pink. Now the next color on my list is my absolute absolute favorite Sherwin Williams Pink Shadow. Sherwin Williams Pink Shadow shares similarities with Sherwin Williams Malted Milk, except the latter pink paint color has slightly more pink than peach to it. Well, in my books, this is something a subtle and timeless blush paint color to have in your home. It isn't bright, stark or saturated, hence a pink color that will never ever disappoint you. Well, Sherwin Williams Pink Shadow has an LRV of 58, which means it falls on the medium end of the scale. It's not too light, not too dark. At the same time, it can definitely even create a moody look without going overwhelming in a space. So you can choose this color for the walls, for the ceilings, for the trims, moldings, baseboards. And this color can even pair well with your existing 
warm wooden textures, your warm wooden flooring, uh, some floating shelves to go, and even your iron furniture, shades of black, uh, satin brass, or even satin chrome. Colors that complement pink shadow are warm whites, charcoal gray, violet, light yellow, light gray, shades of teal, darker peach, black, and darker tones of blush and pink. Now the next color on my list is Sherwin Williams Innocence. Sherwin Williams Innocence is a stark, bright and saturated light toned pink paint color. Even though Sherwin Williams Innocence belongs to the red hue family, it definitely feels quite cool and crisp. You can choose to use this color in a room with little natural light as it won't appear too dark and bold. My personal recommendation would be the south or west facing rooms of your home. Now, Sh now Sherwin Williams Innocence has an LRV of 68, which, which means that it falls on the lighter end of the scale. And trust me, with my personal experience, I have seen how, how beautifully this color pairs with Sherwin Williams Snowbound on the trims, moldings and ceilings. At the same time, you can even use this color with a wallpaper that already has tinges of pink, uh, charcoal blue and charcoal gray in it for the best results. Colors that complement Innocence are Warm whites, charcoal grey, shades of violet, light yellow, light grey, shades of teal, darker pink, black beige grey and darker topo brown. Now the next colour on my list is Sherwin Williams Apple Blossom. Well, Sherwin Williams Apple Blossom is not a very popular colour but I think this colour should be one of the best out there in the list. It's warm, creamy, versatile, pretty, feminine. Uh, and the best pink paint color out there. It's beautiful, serene and warm. Apple Blossom has an LRV of 51 and can truly feel luxe, splendor and even majestic. This fresh pink color must be paired with creamy white textures, fox rugs, wooden textures, satin brass and natural fibers like even jute and rattan. Trust me, your baby girl is bound to love this paint color in her room. She's bound to love it. It's warm, not too warm. It's not too cool. We'll always feel her warm, welcoming and her friends will even love this color even more. With this paint color, I would recommend that you go with Sean Williams Pure White for the ceiling, trims, baseboards, doors and window frames. Colors that complement Apple Blossom are Warm Whites, Charcoal Grey, Mustard, Light Grey, Shades of Teal, Sea Blue, Lighter Pink, Black Beige Grey and Darker Topo Brown. Now the next color on my list is Sherwin Williams Fresh Flower. I'm in absolutely awe with this home office setup. Isn't this so charming and romantic? Well, for all the folks who admire a feminine and yet bold look in their spaces, choose Sherwin Williams Press Flower to add depth and dimension. You can paint your ceilings, moldings and trims in the same color for added versatility and seamlessness. However, ensure that this room receives considerable natural light at all times. Well, Sherwin Williams Press Flower has an LRV of 35, which means that it falls on the medium to the medium darker end of the scale. Let me tell you, this color is not very dominating, but it really feels quite soothing, calming and feminine at all times. You can pair this color with shades of mustard, shades of teal, uh, with wooden textures, white oak should be good to go. You can you can even have maple and ample pampas grass to go, especially for interior design styles like eclectic, glam, mid-century modern, bohemian, japandi. This color, trust me, is quite good to go. Colors that complement pressed flower are warm whites, cool whites, charcoal gray, mustard, light gray, emerald green, gray blue, lighter pink, beige gray and black. Now the next color on my list is Sherwin Williams Duskin. Well, this paint color is quite, quite different than the above mentioned pink paint colors out there. Number one, this color has more beige, grayish to it and just a hint of pink. So if you're looking for a beige color that has dominant pink undertones, then Duskin is definitely something that you can choose. This is a beige paint color with notable pink, purple and grey undertones. Yes, it can prove to be quite a showstopper when used on the walls, cabinets or even entryway doors. This pink paint color by Sean Williams is definitely warm, muted and subtle and can exhibit an organic and earthy vibe.
With an LRV of 47, this falls on the medium to the medium darker end of the scale. I would recommend that you go with Sherwin Williams Pure White on the ceiling, trims, mouldings with this paint color and style this color in any corner of your home, especially if it's laundry cabinets, your powder bathroom vanity or even your kids bedroom. Colors that complement the skin are warm whites, charcoal grey, mustard, light grey, emerald green, shades of teal, lighter taupe of brown, black, beige and grey. And the last color on my list is Sherwin Williams Mellow Coral. Are you looking for a pink paint color with peach undertones? Well, you must have an eye on Sherwin Williams Mellow Coral. This warm and subtle, soothing and sophisticated pink paint color can truly do wonders. It can definitely be used in the kids' bedroom and play areas, wall paneling, accent furniture, wainscoting, entryway door and much more. With an LRV of 52, this color falls on the medium end of the scale, which means that you must allow considerable natural light to enter at all times. You can pair this color with Sherwin Williams Pure White or even Sherwin Williams High Reflective White for the best results. Colors that complement Mellow Coral are Sea Blue Green, Shades of Teal, Emerald Green, Charcoal Grey, Mustard, Beige Grey or even Black. So now that we've discussed the off-white colors with pink undertones, we've also talked about warm pinks, we've talked about cool pinks, we've talked about violet undertones, peach undertones, grey undertones, uh, red undertones. Which particular pink color are you truly intrigued by? But if you have some more creative ideas of using pink paint color in your home, drop some images in the link below or you can email them to me on my website www.nishthasarana.com If you have any color related questions, doubts, queries, you can always reach out to me here and I would love to help you guys pick the best paint color for your home. At the same time, don't forget to check out my Etsy shop for some latest pre-packaged color palettes. You can even find them on my website. And lastly, I'll see you all guys next Monday. Bye.